Okay, let's get started looking at Sense. I've designed this tutorial for people who've not really used Sense at all, so it's beginning from the beginning. When you load Sense up, you'll see this screen, and I'll just quickly introduce some of the areas. On the far left, we have the palettes. There are 10 different palettes, and as you select a palette, you can see that the possible blocks of code appear in this window here. So that's the palettes. In the center, we have the scripting window. This is where you actually drag code out to make a program. So the programs are assembled in this central section. Over on the right hand side, this white area is called the stage. This is where your program happens. So anything you actually program will happen on this screen. This window is where your sprites appear. So as you create sprites, which are basically objects that go on the screen and, and do things or animated or interact with other objects, these will appear here. At the top, we have some common tools for manipulating sprites. At the very top, we have the common file format that you would expect. New, open, save and save as. There's an undo button, which is very useful if you go wrong. The extras button you will have already met because this is the one that shows the SenseBoard Watcher. I don't have my SenseBoard connected, but if I did, then that would allow me to look at what was happening with it. Uh, there's a help button. Uh, you can add notes to a project if you want to. So you can actually write data in that explains things. That's very common uh, with other programming languages. This button is important. This will uh, start the program. If you start the program with when green flag clicked, then this is what it means when you click the green flag. The red button will stop a, stop the program. In fact, it stops every script executing. So when you finish with a program, you can use the red button. It's also useful if you write a program and it doesn't do exactly want and what you want and it goes into a, a, a non-terminating loop. It kind of gets stuck. Um, you can click the red button and that can stop everything. Then finally here we have, this is the speed that your program works at. Um, and you can basically start with a single step. This means that as you build code, you can actually step through the code one step at a time. I'll be showing you that later. You can then slide it to the right to speed up the execution of the program until you go to the far right. And that is, and click the turbo button. And turbo will make the program run as quickly as possible on your computer which for most uh, sense programs is, is more or less instantaneous uh, it just it just all happens in a flash so that in a nutshell is the sense interface